<laughs> hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got Glendronic 15 Revival. Boom, cell phone jammers. Let's jam it. Jam it! All right, Glendronic 15 Boom. Revival. Boom. Last week we did Glendronic 12. So many people had been tweeting us. They'd been commenting on YouTube, Facebook, flashing it in the sky. Yeah, you guys have got to try the blimps, Glendronics. Blimps telling us. Boom. <clears throat> you got to try the 12s, the 15. You want a sherry scotch, best in the world. You're saying you this is sherry. This is sherry. Boom. Uh, the 12 year is matured in Pedro Jimenez casks and Sherry Oloroso or Oloroso Sherry casks. Okay. The 15 Revival is matured exclusively in Sherry Oloroso casks. Hmm. Now I want to point out I haven't had the dummies out. We no haven't. Long. I was thinking that a while back. Yeah. Where happened to the dummies? The dummies. I found them. There they are. And uh, you got to go back. back I bet you got to go back. Before we started numbering, at yeah. Number oh, 100. oh, yeah. I think like it's episode been. four, they made their debut. Probably. Matter of fact, it's like episode six or seven. We got into it because he took a photo of it, and I thought the photo of the dummy was dirty. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, "No," and I didn't like the the subliminal placement of the hand. Mm -hmm. Go watch that if you want to see some funny banter because I offended him and by accident. Sorry. I like the Glendronic packaging. Um, and actually, this is, we've done the 12, this is the 15, like we pointed out. I'm impressed with the Glendronic range. You are, and I know why. Well, it, it's good. They've been good. Right. It's a good range. Um, Not just because it's sherry. I'll point out Balvini is one of my favorite Scotch sure. ranges also. Right. And they've got a range, you know, the double wood, uh, pork cask, Caribbean cask. You see their new ones coming out too? No, and which yeah, one? They got some other ones in there. Cool. Yeah. You so, got them? No. You should. You should. I figured you'd get it. All right, so on this now, we're talking Sherry. We're talking Sherry. Yes. And on the nose. She is marvelous. <laughs> he loves Sherry. On the nose, I get what I... To me, the uh, the nose is clearly fruity, but it's this, I call it a musty, robust fruit. Mm. Raisins. Yeah. Well, now, it's almost now, more than a raisin for me. Let's point out real quick, 46% ABV. Wow. Yeah. Non-chill filtered. Right. Natural coloring. Yeah, and that's what's cool. Anytime you we got a We don't cast, need to add anything to our whiskey. It's lovely the way it is. You are right. I don't need any added colorant. And I know some of my favorite whiskeys add a colorant. It's supposed to be you can't taste or anything else. I don't care if it's a little light. Doesn't bother me a bit. But now, this one is naturally dark. So many people had been commenting we needed to do the 12 and the 15s. They're not available locally. Right. I had to go online for a 15 for the 15 for this one. Right. $95. As soon as I ordered it, it, price jumped to 115 or 120. Holy moly, really? And I think average is 80 to 90, somewhere in there looking online. We should get into that when we talk about it. Yeah, anymore. yeah. But, good. And good. then I saw the 12 on the shelf in Texas. I was there, you had picked to have it up. It. Had to have. So, what do you now, get on? This arrived in the mail, okay, so I spent $95 plus shipping. <laughs> and I got to tell you, when I nosed it, I was a little disappointed. Huh. Okay. I expected more. I mean, right. it's there. It's present. Well, I will tell you the 12 puts off more of a nose almost than a, this does. Almost a sweeter, more... Yeah, I mean, when you poured the 12, go back two episodes, when he poured the 12, it wafted. Uh -huh. Almost like how you can pick up a Laphroaig smoke at the table. The, the sherry wafted. This one did not. And I will say the nose on the 12 seems more sherried than this. Well, um, okay. Just to me. But anyway, I was disappointed in the nose and I thought, oh, I got, this is the bust. I got taken, <laughs> right? My wife's going to be mad at me on this one. I made a bad call. Until I tasted it. Boom. Boom. Hmm. Now, back to the nose though, real quick. There is that sweet sherry. Raisins, I can tell you, just jump out right at you. Plums, uh, caramel, oak, a little bit of red wine vinegar I got almost Ooh. with it. Wow. And then the taste. Yes. This is, I've got sh 
cherry drippy sweet explosion mm. <laughs> drippy sweet mm. like it is fruit falling in your mouth and then just the juice exploding in your mouth sherry explosion drippy sweet i apologize somebody heard me talk about drippy sweet that's been a while but you got on me one time i I did i didn't i didn't minimize and there was no color id weird thing is i took vacation from work so i'm slightly nervous that something (laughs) happened at work and they're calling me but it had no color id so i just hung up okay drippy sweet on the taste and i'm probably gonna have to pour me a little bit more because it's kind of a light pour really um unbelievable sherry Yes. The exclusively matured for 15 years in the Sherry Oloroso casks is coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, a little strong at 46. It's still good. I'm really going to bring this down a little bit. Are you wanting? Yes. I like it strong. I like it strong because I can pick up that heavy. If it's too alcohol. strong, though, to me, it kind of hides some of the, well, I'm with the you. flavors. Oh, it totally does. Totally does. When so, we test, we have notes that we'll refer to, and then we redo it here as well. However, I will take it down much further than I normally would if I was just enjoying the drink. I'll bring it way down so I can try to get as much of the flavor out of it and the complexity as I can. Um, Again, the color, just gorgeous. This looks like amber, like uh, when they find, isn't that what they call those old old uh, PCL, old like prehistoric amber that a little mosquitoes in Jurassic Park style. Oh, right. Right. Huh. And uh, that was like a tree sap or something, wasn't right, it? Right, that's what it is. Covered tree sap it. comes out, a little mosquito gets caught in it, the mosquitoes suck the blood from a dinosaur, yeah. and boom. That's the premise um, of the movie. Definitely more sh- the, the The taste, it, it, if you think the nose is a little light, the taste definitely makes up for yeah, it. Yeah, this is like a reversal of some that I've had. Yeah. Where the nose, I'm with you, didn't like, I was totally thinking the 12 is going to be more. This, though, is sherried on the flavor. Mm-hmm. Um, I also get a chocolate on the taste. Um, that berry sweetness and almonds. Wow. You're doing good. Now, now I'm going to tell you, when I add the water, I get a little bit of that bitter almond. Can't say I'm getting the chocolate. But I feel like neat. I got a more of a, of a sherried explosion, whereas with the touch of water... It brought out a lot more of the complexity, which is what it should do. Mm-hmm. Um, water brings it down, brings out, I think, a little bit more of the sherry and toffee. Hmm. I don't get the toffee, and I love the toffee. But, I mean, again, this has got to be some of your top tier stuff as much as you like sherry. I would agree. Mm hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is a big time keeper for you because uh, it's got a beautiful trailing aftertaste mm-hmm. that stays with the sherry with the, the slightly nutty bitterness kind of in the uh, almost forefront while the sweetness hangs back and trails. Not in a bad way, right? more in a complex way. Mm-hmm. What I really love... What I love about scotches in general is when you've got one, well, the multiple flavors that are kind of wrapped and intertwined within each other. And with this one, I'm getting that sweetness from the sherry with that nutty, oaky bitterness slightly wrapped around there. So it's kind of like, hey, bitter, oh, sweet, oh, sweet explosion. Oh, here's a little bit of nut coming in. Love it. The hat feels kind of Jurassic-y. Hmm. Like about? Out, in the outback. How about jam? Do you get any jam? I did not get like a cell phone jammer. Oh, yeah, (laughs) that's a good transition. So you brought this up, and I, I, you asked if I'd seen the news where there was a guy on the subway that was jamming other people's cell phones. Yeah, he'd gotten tired of listening to everybody jabber on their. So it was like some old guy, get off my lawn. Basically, yeah. This is in New York City. I forget where it was out east somewhere, okay. New York, Chicago, New Jersey, Philly, somewhere. He's on a subway or a train or something. Yeah, subway. So what's he doing? He's got a jammer. What's he a jammer bought? Like? He bought a cell phone jammer online, which 
I guess you can buy them. It's illegal to use them. Yeah, it's was... a major violation of FCC rules. Now, see, I think they should make that legal in a restaurant. If I'm in a restaurant, <laughs> all right, they should have to tell you, like, boom, jammer in process or yeah. whatever. But I want to go in there, and then, this is me getting old. I'm in there eating this very nice dinner, and there's someone two tables over, like, yeah, we're, yeah, we're coming home. And I, and I was like, shut up. I'm trying to have, you know, I don't get out much. I got yeah. kids. Yeah. And I'm like, put the phone down. Mm -hmm. So, but but this the guy's problem, doing yeah. it on they've a been, train. All these, they've been getting complaints and reports about how cell phone service wasn't working on this train, and so I don't, I don't see, I don't remember how they tracked it. I'm down, sure there's technology him, that would let you know, like, boom, that guy's got. Yeah, a I think someone phone. got a picture. They used their cell phone because they saw him like holding it or activating it or turning it on or something. They took a picture huh. of him. They investigate, found out it was him. Boom, arrested. Wow. Illegal. Don't wow. do it. Now I'm saying it might be a pain though. I mean, I'm thinking because I think it's just I think it's just the transition though. And I think we've gotten more used to it. You know, if you go back ten years, it was really annoying. People hated it. I think we've gotten more used to it. It's more common. People are doing it. Kinda, and I think in I, another ten years, you, you, mm, people won't even notice. They'll be like, I, people used to get mad because you were on your cell phone. Yeah, but I still don't like when people are checking out in front of me and they're on their phone. I don't know why. But like I'm in line and they're not really even slowing it down. But it's almost like the checker doesn't exist, and they're yeah. on there like blah blah yeah. blah blah blah. Well, you called me. Stuff. You called me the other day. I was at Target, right. and I said, "Hey, let me let you go. I'm in line at Target." Bam, and I'm immediately yeah, because I'm with you. Got off with you deal. and went through the line, checked out, right, and then called you back. Yes, ninety is what I score this. Isn't that lower than the twelve year? One. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Here's the deal. I liked. I don't know what it is. This one, that sweet explosion, I felt like the nose on the 12s better. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think so. The color is equally good on both. Mm -hmm. But then the flavor, this one is like, like a sherry punch in the face. Yeah. The other one, I felt like it was, it was subtler, still phenomenal. I like the wrapping and the intertwining. But I felt like the other one drew me in a little bit more, which this one's like, bam! It's like a backhanded slap around. I was like, woo, what happened? Remember, the 12 year was Oloroso Sherry Casks yes. and Pedro Zimenez right. Casks. Jimenez, so maybe yes. that's. Could be. And it was a little bit sweeter. This is definitely more sherry. This is 15 year compared mm -hmm. to 12. It is a little bit richer, I think, from that yep. extra three years. Both phenomenal. And Both. just more Oloroso sherry. Yeah, sherry, sherry, sherry. But for some reason. Which is me. I love it. You do. I like the 12 slightly better than this. Um, this would be, if they have another one, I would love to do a shootout with these. Oh, they've got a line. I'm not sure what else is available. Boom, because I don't know anything about them, but I'd love to do a shootout with them and have them boom, 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 and see what I can get when they're right next to each other. That's what I love about our shootouts. I love that aspect. Shootout and shout out, real quick. Sam Samford Hamby. Boom. We're going to, he's a Patreon backer. Yes. All right. He was our second backer. By the way, go check us out on Patreon. It's a way you can help us out. You can donate one, two, or three dollars per video. It's up to you. And it just helps us produce the show really really helps us a ton but Hamby Hamby was our first three dollar backer three, three dollar per episode per episode we release and we release on Wednesdays for that Saturdays. we'll put a picture of you yes. in the video yeah when we'll you be, do a, a three dollar you're gonna put a picture in there boom pictures coming right up there. right right now pictures up you're looking at it Sam we're looking at it. yep and his wife yeah, his wife he was at, at, they were at his, uh, his sister in law's niece's, right? No, his wedding. niece's wedding. In South Korea. All right. Now, uh, wife, gorgeous. Got a nice, what, mustard colored jacket on. I wouldn't uh, say mustard. I would say, okay, yellow. I, yellow. Like, I love mustard, but that's mustard colored <laughs> jacket to me. Now, I can see is that the pink sash behind the flower arrangement? Is that Korean back there? I don't know if that is Korean or. Wasn't he in Korea? Yes. Is he in Korea? Was, yes, I already said okay. South Korea. Sorry, I missed that. I did. I was in Korea when I was in the army just for a couple weeks. Anyang Haseo. He was in the army Korea, for a means, couple weeks. No, I was in the army longer, but oh, Anyang Haseo. You were in South Korea. Is like Korea. thank you very much. Yeah, I believe. <laughs> Anyang Haseo Azumani. Yes. All right. I'm Somni Da. Check he's us out on Patreon on, if you want to help us out. Hold on. He's got, he's got glasses. He's got a but, suit on. Yes. Who's the kid in the back scratching his forehead? I don't, I don't know. know. Hamby, you need to comment. <laughs> yeah, I want to know who the lad is in the back. He's like, is he like 
um, your niece's ex-boyfriend. He's like, I should have married her. I lost the love of my life. It might be a girl. Mm, looks like a male to me. If it's I a can't girl, quite tell. if it's a girl, no, that's a guy. Look, I'm at just the way looking at kind of the shirt vest. with the open. Could be. You got to let us know, hand You can't tell us the hands obscuring the face. What's that? A cell phone in his right hand? Yep. Maybe somebody's jamming. He's probably on the phone. Somebody's jamming him at the wedding. He's like, my phone ain't working. I'm 22 years old and my phone ain't working. I needed to text out and tweet out some stuff on this wedding. Hamby, you're looking good, though. Looking good, Hamby. And thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. So, boom. is it a segment or should we... Blurb. 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 I think blurb would be... I like that Although word. segment's good. Blurb. blurb. You like blurb? Blurb. Like schnozberries so, taste like schnozberries. So is blurb. it worth it? Road. Is it worth it? All right, I... $95. $95. I'm going to say, for me, no. No. And here's why. I like the 12. Mm. How much was the 12? 58. 58. I'm getting this sherry flavor. Now, I'll admit, this is more of an explosion, and it does have a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more complexity, definitely more explosion. But if I'm going for the sherry, I'm, I'm grabbing the 12 year. The 12 year gave me that sherry flavor, and it's half the price. Mm. So Almost if I'm half. saying no, not worth it. Okay. Yes. At see. least once. Mm. It's worth it. Yeah. Okay. Pick, if you like sherry scotches, this will probably be one of the better ones you'll have. I agree. Pick it up. Now, will I buy another bottle for that price range? Well, I'll it went probably up. Probably. Right? You it, said it went up. Yeah, 80 to, eight, well, I got it at 95. I would say 80 to 95, you're okay. 110, 120, it's, uh, no, there's other stuff out there. And at that, you know, a Macallan 12 is going to give you something really close for half the price right. of that for the $50 range. This is an interesting segment or blurb <laughs> because I'm with you. I love it. I like it. it scored it well. Mm -hmm. But you're right. Would I go drop, if it was me looking at this or the 12-year, I will admit I would buy the 12-year and I would feel like I scored them so close to each other that the 12-year would serve me fine at half the price. I agree. Um, but if you had a newbie or you had someone and you wanted to show them a very well done Oloroso Sherry Scotch. Yes, I go further. If I started seeing them, like if they said, man, I love the Tomatin 18. What's that flavor under mm. there? What's the flavor profile? I'd say Sherry. I would definitely tell them, try the 12. If you like the 12, spend the money, get the 15. Okay. So that's your, I mean, if they like the Sherry, I would say this is, get it. Get it, because, I mean, I don't know where your flavor profile is, but if you like the Dematin 18, you'll love the 12, and I think you'll love the 15. And I bet you after they tried the 12, they'd be like, wow, that was delicious. I've got to get the 15, and then it's wherever they want to go. Well, you had Hans over here the other night. We mm -hmm. let him try it, and he was very Hans, impressed with it, and he loves a Peteds. Good buddy of mine works with us at the office and i don't know that he had had a sherry before so i said we'll try this it's a very well done sherry and he tried it and loved it he did and uh, hans is a buddy of mine that uh was shocked when i told him try the lefroy cast strength it's one of my favorites and i thought it might be too much for him he loved it and he's and, even and kind he of a like newer this. yeah very whiskey new scotch yeah. drinker yeah he's he's still kind of tiptoeing in he's so he's towing scotch it you scotch god. Solancha. Dummies. <laughs> You're all like, do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Say it. What are you doing? I'm pointing at it. Do it. Do it. 